Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are all the books that I will hopefully be reading in March. I have my March checklist that I go by where I pick a book for each category. So let's get started. The first book that I have is our book club pick for the Beam Me Up book club hosted by me and Tiffany from Tiff Talks Pages. We are so excited for this next book. This is Alien at Tyrant by Ursa Dax. It looks like our hero and heroine meet on a different planet. I think she gets kidnapped for whatever reason. And there is a huge language barrier, which is my buzzword, my big buzzword when it comes to alien romances. We're really excited to pick this up and read more Ursa Dax. I know Tiffany and I have only read like holiday reads by her, holiday alien romance reads. So we're excited to read this series specifically. I know a lot of my fellow alien romance lovers love this series. So we cannot wait to dive in. So be sure to join us on March 29th. It's going to be at 5 p.m. CST on Tiffany's channel. We are so excited. So be sure to read this book with us in March. For my disability rep book this month, I have Mountain Man's Bride by L. Thomas. This one apparently has type one diabetes representation and it doesn't have a lot of ratings, but the few ratings that it has, they're actually really good. So there's only 40 ratings on there. It looks like this is about Everly who is really struggling with being diagnosed recently with type one diabetes. And she's in also a financial rut at the moment. So <laughs> after a after numerous hospital stays and a terrifying scare, her best friend signs her up on a mail order bride site, hoping to get Everly the financial help she needs to manage her diabetes. And then Trip Walker responds to her profile asking to meet her and give him a chance to see if they'll work. She grasps the opportunity with both hands. What neither of them is expecting is how fiercely protective Trip is of Everly and the lengths he'll go to keep her healthy. Even if it means forcing her into a marriage she isn't sure she wants. That sounds really fun. Um, it's gonna be interesting with Mail Order Bride in a contemporary like nowadays setting because I've read a lot of them in historical but never, I don't think in present day. Next, I'm going to pick a book from my Kindle library. So last month I picked out Scattered Bones off of I think Amazon one day, it was free. Um, and this is a dark fantasy romance. And it's pretty short, it's only like 275 pages. I honestly don't wanna read anything about this. I just read the tagline, which is a quote from the book. It says, I will love you until I am nothing but dust. And even then, I'll still love you. Goosebumps right now, chills, love it. Next is a book from my physical TBR, which this month I picked Show Me The Way by T.C. Matson. I think I found this at a Half Price Books and I saw it was an indie romance and it had pretty good ratings. So I'm gonna pick this one up. This one is about Morgan and Callan and Morgan is um, newly a single mom. Her husband like cheated on her and walked out on them. And so she ends up moving to a new town to get a new job. And the last thing she expected was for her tattooed covered landlord to nestle his way into her heart. He's broody and quiet all grunts and head nods. Letting him close means opening herself back up to the potential of getting hurt. And she's got her son to think about. So why does she lie in bed at night thinking of him? I am really craving a single mom romance. I've read a lot of single dad recently, but I'm in the single mom mood. Next is my historical romance pick, which this month is a book I recently hauled. This one is called Can Not Escape My Love by Elaine Kaufman. This one is like really cool, this step back. She's like pregnant, I think. And then look at that. Like her pregnant belly is the step back thing. It looks like our heroine in here is like running away from home and her dad offers this gunslinger some money to go track her down. And it's her romance with the gunslinger that's going to go like kidnap her and take her back home to her father. So, and I'm thinking she gets pregnant based off of this step back. At least I think she's pregnant in here. There's nothing about that I don't think on the back. For my Libby read this month, I'm going to be picking Sweet Hand by N.G. Peltier. This is the first book in her Island Bites series. Can we like take a moment to appreciate this stunning cover? It's beautiful. And I know a lot of my friends have read this. It looks really cute. It has to do with baking, which if y'all know is totally my thing. Our heroine Charisse is being hounded by her mother to find a guy, <laughs> but her mother's matchmaking just keeps like intensifying. And so Sharice tries to humor her mother, hoping she'll, if she feigns interest in the eligible bachelors she keeps tossing her way, she'll be off the hook. But things don't quite go as planned. It turns out for the first time in ages, she and Kieran King, the most annoying man ever, are on the island at the same time. Avoiding him is impossible, especially when Kieran's close friend is the one marrying her sister. 
and he's the best man to her maid of honor. It sounds really cute, like this cover, the vibes. I'm just hoping for a great old cute contemporary romance time. Author backlist, I decided to pick up the mixtape by Brittany Cherry. This is on Kindle Read and Listen, so if you download the Kindle, you can listen to the audiobook for free. And I don't know what this is about. I don't wanna know what it's about. I'm assuming it has something to do with music, but I go into Britney's books blind because I love like anything that she writes, honestly. So um, I love Britney and I love all of her books. And so I just need to read more of her backlist. I think I'm almost there. Like I've read all of them. For series to continue, I have picked Batter of Wits by Carla Sorensen. This is the second book in her Love at First Sight series. I read the first one, Baking Me Crazy. That one had great disability representation. Our heroine is a wheelchair user in that book. The heroine, I think in this one, works at the same bakery that the heroine from book one did. Our heroine Grace moves to the small town of Green Valley and her car breaks down and Tucker Haywood, a tall, handsome, full of Southern charm, man ends up saving her in his pickup truck and he's a giant pain in Grace's butt apparently and she's not even sure why he is so irritating to, irritating to her. He like gets under her skin and then she realizes she can't really stop thinking about him and Tucker can't stop thinking about Grace either because the moment her combat boot clad feet propped up on his dashboard of his truck she's like a blonde bombshell wrecking ball in his perfectly constructed life. Turns out the bad girl and this golden boy have a lot more in common than they think and that delicious discovery will rock Green Valley in a way that no one saw coming. For unknown author and book that I've never heard of, I saw this one on my Libby and it looked so good. It had great ratings. This is Redemption of the Heart by Moni Boyce. So it looks like our heroine Gemma comes from a rough past. She survived an abusive relationship that landed her in prison and she just wants a fresh start once she's released. Her focus is to create a new life for herself and put men in relationships on the back burner so she can rebuild. Then enter Alex Chambers, who hasn't felt anything for another woman since his wife died a few years ago. His life is his restaurant until the moment he meets his new waitress, which is Gemma. So despite the baggage both of them are carrying, neither of them can fight the attraction they feel for one another, even though they try to resist. Seems a really good emotional. I think I'm gonna have to prepare myself to read that one. For my hyped book for this month, I picked Dreaming of You by Lisa Kleypas. I'm going to read the next book in the Gamblers of Craven series. This one I know is everyone's favorite about Derek Craven, who I read about in book one. Now book one I read I think a month or two ago. I think last month. That was not my favorite book. I did not love it, um, but I was intrigued by Derek Craven's character, who was a side character in book one. So hopefully, I really love this book. I know my friends absolutely adore this character, this hero. I know nothing about it. I don't know anything about the heroine, but everyone seems to love this hero. So I hope I do too. I'm trying not to get my expectations too high because I don't want to be let down because I really did not like book number one. Then for a 2024 new release, I have Neva Altaj's newest release coming out in March. This is Darkest Sins, which is book number nine in her Perfectly Perfect series. I am getting the arc for this one, so I'll be getting it like a week or two before it actually releases. So towards the beginning of March, I will be reading it. Um, this one is about uh, Nira and Kai. I have read and watched a few of the reels that Neva has, well, that Neva has on her Instagram, like promoting this book. Seems so good. In Nira's perspective, it says, in a night of blood and death, fate brought us together. I thought I was saving the life of an innocent man, a man I'd never see again. I was wrong. A slight shift in the air, a glint of silver eyes in the darkness. I may not see him, but I know he's there. My angel of death lurking in the shadows, watching over me, protecting me before disappearing into thin air until we meet again. A man who took a bullet for me, but he won't touch me, love me, or even share his name. In Kai's perspective, he says, dark pain blood. It's all I've ever known, an empty shell of a human being. No heart, no soul, no dreams, surrounded by death. I was a dead man walking, but then her light shone through my darkness, breathing life into my dead soul. My fearless tiger cub, my only reason to keep living. Every time I have to leave her in the light, my black heart breaks and bleeds. As I retreat to the shadows where I belong, I cannot change the past, cannot take back what I have done, my darkest sin. So it kind of looks like he's like stalking her, which I haven't read a good stalker romance in a while. So this one comes out on March 28th. I'm really looking forward to it and I can't wait to get the arc. And my last book prompt is to pick a alien or monster book. This time I picked a monster romance. This is The Scarecrow's Queen by Naomi Lucas and Mel Braxton. This does say it's a second book in a duet, but I don't think the first one is about these characters. So I think I might just go into this one, but I don't know why it says duet. 
that kind of worries me. I hope they have nothing to do with each other. So like our hero is like a scarecrow creature. For centuries, he served and defended the crops around him. Um, but when the crops die, he finds himself standing over a field of shriveled stalks and it's her fault, the female who has taken over his fields. She might be the new queen of these lands, but in her wake, she only brings death. So he will scare her away. He will reclaim those fields and she will learn to fear him. Until one evening, she is attacked by none other than the Crow King. She cowers behind him for protection, begging him to spare her life. Her terror and desperation stir him into action. Nobody, not even a god, is allowed to frighten what is mine. That sounds so thick and good. I'm really excited for that one. Anyways, so you have it. Those are all the books that I plan to read in March. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to, I would love to know. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me what emoji are we gonna do? Um, I'm thinking of this step back with like the pregnancy step back. So do like any pregnancy related emoji. That, would, that seems so fun. I'm really excited for that book. And that book also, by the way, will be in a vlog featured for my channel members. So if you're interested in becoming a channel member, that is going to be linked down below as always. But anyways, yeah. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.